Hi, my name is Dylan DePass, and I'm a developer on the Adobe at Adobe team. Today I'd like to show you an application that I built to help test some of the multi-screen capabilities of the Flash platform. Now this application was built with Flex 4.6 and Air 3.0, and basically it's a simple application to browse Adobe-related content on YouTube. Now you can see I have it running across a variety of devices here. Uh, I like to break them up into three chunks. So I have low resolution phones like the Droid Pro and the iPhone 3GS, high resolution phones like the Motorola Atrix, and then tablets. So I have an iPad 2, a Motorola Zoom, and a Blackberry Playbook. Now when the application first starts, you're brought to this featured screen here. And basically it's a place to highlight some content. And I've got this neat little way to navigate through highlighted content. And that works across all the devices. But one of the great things about Flex is that it allows you to easily theme your applications. So I have three different mobile operating systems here. And you can see that on each platform, the application has a bit of a different feel. So you can see that the tab bar down at the bottom here uh, and the action bar at the top have a very iOS feel. Whereas on Android, it's skinned to look more like an Android application. Another nice thing about this application is when you change the orientation, uh, it will take on a different feel. So when I pick up the iPad here and I change the orientation, you can see that we now have the f featured content down here at the bottom and then that kind of featured component at the top. And when I go back, it will again change the orientation. Uh, another thing I want to show is the um, information button here at the top. So when I push this button on Android phones, you can see that it takes you to a screen where it presents uh, just a quick little brief description of the application. And similarly on the 3GS on iOS, it does the same thing. Now where there's a difference is that on iOS phones, we do not have a physical back key, whereas on Android phones, we do. So when I push the back button on the Android phone, you can see it will take you back to the main screen. But on iOS, we actually present the user with a back button at the top of the screen here. And when I push that, it will take you back. On tablets, the experience is a bit different. Uh, tablets commonly have the concept of a callout or a pop-up. So when I push the same button, you can see it brings up a uh, callout window here. And notice that it's skinned to match the callouts on iOS. And that's something you actually get free out of the box with Flex 4.6. But on Android, tablets, it's a bit different. When I push that same button, you can see that the skin is actually uh, made to match an Android tablet. Wanted to take a bit of a different approach on the playbook. Uh, playbook commonly has the concept of a top-down uh, bevel swipe here. So when I swipe from the top of the application down, you can see that that's how you bring up this information panel. And if I swipe again, it will go away. Uh, notice as well, too, uh, on this featured view, uh, we present the user with a different experience depending on the form factor of the device. So you can see here uh, on tablets, we have a lot of space. So we present the user with the title as, long, as well as a description and a learn more button. And that's consistent across all the different tablets. Uh, but on low resolution phones, we don't have quite as much space here. So uh, we just pre present the title and then the icon there of the picture. On high resolution phones, we have a bit more space, so I have the description down at the bottom. So you're really able to uh, customize the experience based on the form factor of the device, and Flex makes it really easy to do that. So I'll show you a little bit more of the application here. So I have a products page, and you can see that brings up in a list of Adobe products, and you can easily link to related videos for those products. If I change the orientation, you can see the tile layout here will present the user with a, a different column count here to best fit the screen size. And of course, that works across uh, all the different devices here. Of course, on low resolution phones, we don't have quite as much space. So instead of a tile layout, it's just a vertical layout. On high resolution phones, we have a bit more space here. So we have a two column tile layout. I also have an evangelist page, so I, you can quickly view Ado uh, YouTube videos for Adobe Evangelist. 
And let's go ahead and let's try on, on the iPad 2. Let's pick somebody here. And then I can see all the videos from Greg. And then I can select the video. And play the video. And this is actually using the, uh, the stage web component uh, that's available in Flex and Air. Now, when I change the orientation, you can see that the featured videos are now down at the bottom here. And then again, when I go back to landscape view, the featured videos are at the, on the right. I can put the video into full screen mode. And again, change the orientation. And go back. Another thing I want to show is the share button I have up at the top here. Now, on uh, iOS, when you press the button, again, you get that call out. But the buttons that are inside are, again, ma uh, skinned to match an iOS-style bu button. And when I press a button, well, that feature has actually not been implemented. But what I want to show is the dialog window that appears has an iOS feel to it. When I go to an Android device or an Android tablet, so again, let's pull this up. Again, the share button is at the top. But we're using a different icon now. The icon that was used here ha is a very iOS uh, style icon. Uh, so we pick a different one here for uh, Android. And when I press the button, again, the, the call out has a very Android feel to it. And the buttons do as well. And when I press one, Again, the feature is not implemented, but what you notice is that the pop-up has a very, again, a very Android feel to it. And if I push the OK button, that will go away. On phone, on low-resolution phones, things are a bit different. I have, so let's go ahead and select somebody. So again, we have the share button, uh, but this time, when you press the share button, you're actually presented with an iOS. Uh, um, asset sheet here. And here you can again select to email the video, but again, the feature has not been implemented. And of course, playing works as well. And on Android, let's try Android. Share button again, but when you push the share button here, you get the uh, view menu down at the bottom. And if I press one of those buttons, again, has an Android feel to it. So there you go. That's one application, one code base, running across three mobile operating systems, all powered by Flex 4.6 and Air 3.0. Thanks for watching.